everybody this is Jen welcome to my channel today we're gonna be talking about babies so stay tuned and I'll show you what babies we're talking about right here on Garden Jen's Journey So today we're going to be talking about babies. Not for me human babies, but we're talking about farm babies. It's that time of year when farms start having babies all over the place because spring is right around the corner and spring means new life. It's no different here in our little homestead. We have lots of babies that we are getting ready to introduce onto the farm. So let me show you what we've got going on right here on our little homestead. So right here is uh, our brooder box for our chickens. My husband revamped it a little because it's actually sitting on our outdoor porch um, out here on our deck. And so he wanted to uh, make sure that it was draft free um, the box is a plywood box and then he insulated with insulation on the outside so no the chicks won't be able to eat the insulation and then up here where my door is he put this piece of uh this is heat vent um insulation um he put that there uh because the handle leaves an area where it would be a draft so we've got that all covered and then this is where the heat lamp's going to go. So he left that open for the heat lamp. And then it's pretty spacious in here. I don't know if the camera will pick up how spacious it is. Um, this is basically a three foot by uh, six or eight foot brooding box here. We usually have about 20 chicks in it every spring. So we've got that ready to go. Now I'm going to take you inside and show you what's going on inside. Contrary to many of the magazines and, and articles that tell you do not have live poetry inside your homes, we kind of don't have an option because of our very small homestead. We don't have a uh, garage space where we can put the brooder box in. Um, we don't have a basement or a spare bedroom or something like that where we can have the uh, poultry not in our living area. So we do have them inside but we're very meticulous on making sure that we keep their space clean and also when we handle them or clean out their uh, brooding boxes that we make sure that we wash our hands to keep any potential thing like salmonella or anything like that down. Use common sense and you'll be just fine. This piece of equipment is brand new to us this year. You guys might know what this is. <laughs> if not, this is a chicken incubator. Um, or I should just say poetry incubator. You can put a variety of different types of eggs in here at different times, of course. You don't mix ducks and chickens and geese um, in the same incubator. Uh, we have 18 eggs in here. This particular model holds 41, but we currently have 18 eggs in there for our trial run. Like I said, this is uh, brand new for us this year. I made sure to write on here where I need to have my humidity for the first 18 days and then how I need to change it the last three days and to turn off my egg turner so I don't forget. And I also have in here, you can see it right there, that's a separate uh, humidity and temperature thermometer I had in here just to make sure that this is accurate and they are a few degrees difference um, this says it's a hundred degrees and not sure of the humidity at the moment uh, 
but this and the one down there do not agree so I use the one down there to make sure that my temp is accurate and that I have enough humidity in here um, at the time. Uh, these eggs have been in here for um, eight days now. I did candle them last night and out of the 18 eggs it looks like all but two are uh, going to be good eggs. There's only two that seem to be non-viable. So this is our chicks that we are hoping to hatch on our own this year. We shall see how that goes. We are also going to be adding some more buff Orphingtons and potentially light Brahmas to our mix. Um, the goal here from from this year out after we get some more Brahmas and Buff Orphingtons is to have our own barnyard mix um, that will have eggs from the Buff Orphingtons, the Brahmas, and we have Americanas um, roosters. Uh, so we want to make sure that we uh, have a barnyard mix of those three particular breeds. Uh, we love those breeds and they're very cold hardy. Uh, the Americanas are more of your warm weather laying hens where the Buff Orphingtons and the Brahmas lay eggs in the colder season. So we're hoping by genetically combining the Aracanas and the Buff Orphingtons and Brahmas that we'll have a good hybrid breed for us for all year egg production and a good winter hardy bird. Our ducklings. You can see how excited they are to see me. They know when I come in that I usually give them water. See if I can get this to focus in on them a little better. Probably not because they're moving so much. But yeah, um, we have three, three Keki Campbell ducks. And I've only got three because we live on a small homestead. And where these guys are going to be put is actually in my garden. Kathy, Kathy Campbells and uh, Indian Runners are very good ducks to have for your crops. They eat the bugs, especially snails and slugs that decimate your garden crops. But they don't decimate the garden crops themselves. Um, so they're very good to have in your garden to help ward off those pests naturally. So we got three of them. That way there's a nice little group that can keep each other happy. Currently I do believe that I have one male which is the dark one way over, oh, sorry, one male which is that guy back there and then two females is what it looks like currently. We shall see as they get older what we have. So that is our ducks. So as you see, I have my birds inside right now. Um, the chick brooder is outside on the porch, but for now, the incubator is right on my dining room table. <laughs> that dining room table is not actually used as a dining room table. It really hasn't been since we moved here. We live in a smaller home. It's about 864 square feet. And so things are kind of tight. And uh, so the dining room table where it's at is right in front of the wood stove. Um, so <laughs> especially in the winter time, it's not some place you want to sit and try to eat because the wood stove puts out a lot of heat. Um, the way our home is set up is kind of unique um, because it's an older home. It was built in the 30s and so it was built without modern amenities so in the kitchen there wasn't a stove or a refrigerator in this home they used a cooking stove to cook their meals and I'm not sure how they kept things cold because they didn't have a refrigerator at the time so with the modern equipment that we now have in this home it's a little tight in that kitchen so anyways, the kitchen table is hardly ever used as a table. It's more used as additional counter space. So that's where my, my chickies are, the incubator. 
and I'll keep you updated on when they start to hatch and see what we get and how many we get. I hope you found this video kind of interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I thank you so much for watching this video and me on my journey. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. That way you can stay updated with what goes on right here on my journey. And I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.